we're going to start at the top with the test plan. This is the high level container in RQM. Test plan will be associated with each major release of your application tool suite of applications, whatever it is you're testing. Test plan is going to organize all of your test cases. These are the functions or use cases that you need to be testing. It's going to list all of the environments that you run this application in where you need to be doing overlapping or perhaps independent tests. And it will also organize your test suites where you gather a series of test cases to run them with a single push. So run a quick smoke test or perhaps a full regression test which would contain all of the test cases. Let's take a look in the product how this data is organized. So here I am in an RQM test plan. Notice that I've got four sections in the upper left corner here. The summary section showing me the product I'm testing, the release I'm currently at. My test cases are listed on the test case section. These are test cases I've created for different functionality that will be part of release one. Of course, many of these will also be included in the release two testing plan. As long as the functionality survives unchanged, these will be included as is. If the functionality goes away or is replaced or changed, then the test cases will have to be modified or additional ones added. I've got a page for test suites. I've created two. One, the regression test. This has all of the test cases I've created so far in there. If I do a regression test, it's going to run every one of those tests. I've also created a smoke test that I can run more frequently. It just tests some of the critical test cases I've built up to make sure I haven't broken some of the really important parts of the product as I continue to add functionality. And I've also got a section for my test environment. Notice that I've got three types of browsers, two databases, currently only one application server for serving out my web pages, but I intend to add more, plus two operating systems. These are the variables that can change in the execution environment. And so I am starting to list everything that I need to worry about when I set up a testing environment. This is about the simplest test plan you can put together. There are many other sections besides these four that you can turn on as your testing capabilities mature. There's a long list here. Let's just pick one. We'll pick formal review. If you're going to add formal review to your test process, notice I've added that formal review section. That's now part of what's in my test plan, and I can start now creating approvals or reviews that I set up as part of this test plan. So I've got many, many possible sections. What we've got are the, really the four most critical test environments, test suites, test cases, and of course the summary is always there.